Alrighty guys, welcome back to Star Wars Review. Today is the uh, weekly Star Wars recap for August 23rd, 2021. So yeah, um, got a lot of stuff to talk about this week, so I'm going to jump right in. Starting off with the uh, new releases. First stuff that came out last week, there's several comics. Um, there's War of the Bounty Hunters issue 3, Star Wars issue 16, uh, The Higher Republic Adventures issue 7, and Star Wars Adventures issue 9 all came out. Uh, also, uh, The Higher Republic... Uh, Adventures Free Comic Book Day 2021, that issue came out, you know, last week on August uh, 14th, but they, this week they made it available digitally for free for everyone, so if you weren't able to get a physical version like me, you can now read it digitally, but uh, coming out this week is uh, Disney Gallery, The Mandalorian, making of the season 2 finale, which will come out August 25th, 2021, and then, um, to uh, comics, uh, Darth Vader issue 15 and Doctor After issue 13, which will come out August 25th, 2021. So yeah. Anyways, uh, let's jump into the news. Um, starting off with some Mandalorian season three news, because um, Carl Weathers is doing a panel at um the Steel City uh, Con in the uh, greatest city of all, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, so yeah. <laughs> It's my hometown, so obviously I love it. But uh, anyways, he uh, revealed that um he will be uh, returning for the third season of The Mandalorian to star as Grief Karga. But um he will also be uh, directing an episode of the third season, which he also did in the uh, second season. Uh, but the biggest thing was that he uh, revealed that they will be starting uh, shooting uh, at some point next month in September. So yeah, it's nice to finally get some... Uh, you know, stuff there for The Mandalorian Season 3 coming from Carl Weathers, so, yeah, um, and, you know, with, I believe, Kenobi and Andor, are, uh, starting to wrap their productions now, so, moving in just to, uh, you know, uh, for Star Wars stuff, Mandalorian will be the only thing, uh, Season 3 will be the only thing in production, uh, obviously, I don't know if another series will start production soon also, but, um, yeah, ho hopefully that means a, uh, Late 2022 uh, release, so for uh, Mandalorian season three, at least we have a uh, the Book of Boba Fett coming out uh, later this year. So, which you know um is kind of like a I guess a season 2.5 of the Mandalorian. So yeah, but um you know hopefully we get more news on uh, the third season of Mandalorian. Hopefully more news. On uh, the Book of Boba Fett. Um, hopefully a release date for the Book of Boba Fett soon. Uh, obviously the trailer probably won't release till like a month beforehand. Cause that, um, a month, maybe two months beforehand. Which is like the norm for Disney Plus stuff. Uh, you know. <laughs> it's, it's funny because the movies get trailers like several months beforehand. But you know. Yeah, series don't. But um, probably because... My best assumption is that some of the, you know, post-production, some of the CGI stuff and whatnot they gotta do is, you know, probably doesn't get as finished. Uh, I don't know. Obviously, that's just a wild guess. I'm, you know, professional. So, yeah. But, yeah, you know, that's really all about The Mandalorian. Um, we did get some other Disney Plus news with um, a uh, trailer for uh, Star Wars Visions. Uh, which released last week on Tuesday. I did a uh, full video on this. So you can check that out. But um, you know, it showed off clips from uh, the shorts. I don't know if all nine were shown, but uh, I would assume so. But um, you know, the trailer and it seems like it'll be a uh, you know a fun time. Definitely a lot more excited for it than I, you know, after that trailer than I was beforehand. You know, I'm not a big uh, anime guy, so I, you know. So, you know, uh, Star Wars anime didn't, like, make me as excited as probably some people. But, um, they did also reveal the, uh, full cast for the, uh, you know, um, sub and dub, I guess. Um, but the, uh, English dub cast had, uh, quite the, uh, you know, the cast. Um, I'm not gonna, uh, read off every single name. If I remember, I'll leave the link down below to the stars.com article, but, um... Some of his names include Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Tamir Morrison, David Harbour, Neil Patrick Harris, Allison Brie, um, Simi Liu, and uh, George Takei, along with so many more. 
uh, people some big names I even didn't even mention. But um, yeah, hopefully some of those bigger actors are also good voice actors. Uh, sometimes bigger name actors aren't. So yeah, hopefully they are. But uh, yeah. Um. Anyways, I believe all nine shorts will come out September twenty second. I'll be doing reviews of all of them when uh, they come out. Anyways, uh. Yeah, also got some uh, video game news um, about Lego Star Skywalker Saga. Not a lot of news. It's more just an announcement that we're getting news. Because uh, it's uh, revealed that there will be a um, you know trailer or first look, I guess. Maybe a gameplay of Lego Star Skywalker Saga at uh, Gamescom opening night live. Which will be uh, Wednesday, August 25th at um, 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern. So yeah, I'm um, excited to finally get some Lego Star Wars Skywalker Saga news. Hopefully a uh, release date for later this year in November or October or something. Uh, so yeah, but when it does come out, I'll be doing a full playthrough and I'll probably make a video on Wednesday or Thursday about it. So yeah. Anyways, uh, next we got a lot of comic news. Um, I did talk about November 2021 comics last week, but this week we got... A couple other uh, announcements for comics uh, and release dates for all the uh, comics I talked about last week. But first, um, there was a new uh, one shot announced uh, for you know, for Marvel for November uh, release titled Life Day, which you know will be centered around the Life Day holiday and just you know kind of be a holiday uh, story. Um, so yeah, kind of like the upcoming uh, Life Day um, Treasury, I think it's called book. Uh, which comes out in a couple weeks. Um, so yeah, but you know, I'm I'm having they've been uh, really using a lot of the uh, holiday stars holiday special stuff, uh, like Life Day and several other things. Um, hopefully they bring back the uh, porno, uh, itchy, uh, the old Wookie uh, watches in the uh, special, but um, <laughs> yeah, uh, the porno VR thing he has. Um, so yeah, but um, anyways. This uh, one shot will be written by uh, Kevin Scott, Justin Ireland, Jody Hauser, and Steve Orlando. And we'll have art by um, Ivan Fiorelli. Um, and said more, but didn't say who uh, else will be uh, drawing for the uh, one shot. But um, there is also a cover from uh, Phil Noto showing uh, Han and Chewie. But uh, there was a description which said, The galaxy's favorite holiday, Happy Life Day. Celebrate the galaxy's favorite holiday with a collection of festive tales from all across the Star Wars saga. Life Day is the last thing on Han Solo's mind when he and Chewbacca find themselves outgunned and under fire. But Chewie won't give up hope, remembering the lessons of Life Day's past and present. As for Life Day's yet to come, well, they'll have to survive the night first. So yeah, um, seems centered around Han and Chewie and, you know, probably, uh, I, I don't know how the other... The stories will work. I don't know if Chewie will tell them the Han or something. I don't know, but um, on the uh, there's a stars.com article for it. And uh, one of the stories that teased was that Jesse Ireland that teased that she's writing a story set during the High Republic featuring a uh, Beriaga Agaberi, the uh, Wookiee Jedi Padawan. So I'm definitely excited for that a uh, part of the uh, one shot. But uh, yeah, you know. Interested in it. Obviously, it's not something I'm crazy excited for, but I'll definitely be uh, reading and probably doing a video on it. But it'll come out on November 17th, 2021. Anyways, uh, next, uh, there's a new uh, Marvel comic miniseries uh, announced titled Crimson Rain, uh, which, you know, will be uh, written by Charles Soule and be a five issue miniseries and a follow up to the uh, War of the Bounty Hunters series, um, which. This new series, Crimson Rain, will be featuring Kira after the events of War of the Bounty Hunters. Uh, which um, said that this new series will be the uh, second part of a trilogy with Star Wars War of Bounty Hunters. So, we'll probably be getting a third miniseries after uh, this Crimson Rain's uh, five-issue run ends. So, you know, it's great to have more uh, Kira stories and whatnot. But, uh... You know, some, there's some uh, covers for the uh, first issue. That was, was the main one. But there was a variant which showed several characters on it. But one what stood out to me was uh, the character Ren. 
who has first appeared in uh, Charles Soule's uh, series, uh, The Rise of Kylo Ren. But, you know, Ren was the former leader of the Knights of Ren, and in The Rise of Kylo Ren miniseries, we see, you know, Ben Solo take the Knights of Ren from him. So, yeah, but it's cool that, uh, you know, uh, that Ren is around during the original trilogy era, and uh, Soul confirmed on Twitter that the Knights of Ren will appear, so I'm assuming all of them will. Uh, so, you know, it's nice to get more uh, from them, and interesting that they were are active during the uh, original trilogy era. Uh, but uh, the series will have art by uh, Stephen Cummings, and the uh, first issue will release on November 3rd, 2021. Uh, there's a lot of story details right now. There was a uh, description for uh, issue one. Didn't reveal much, but I, I'll read it here, uh, which it said, After the dawn comes the rain. The story that began with War of the Bounty Hunters continues here in the second installment of a trilogy that will reshape the history of the Star Wars galaxy during the Age of Rebellion. Featuring the return of beloved characters, shocking twists, epic feats of the Force, and a story that will reach from Star Wars' darkest underworld all the way to the Imperial Palace on Coruscant. Crimson Reign is a Star Wars saga like no other. So yeah, um, don't really know what all the story will be about. Obviously we'll probably start to figure more out as when War of the Bounty Hunters finishes up and, you know, this gets closer to release on November 3rd. But, um, there are, uh, some, yeah, November 2021 comics, uh, release dates for, uh, the uh, Marvel and the uh, IDW comics. Uh, first, uh, the Higher Relic issue 11 will come on November 3rd. Uh, the Higher Relic Trail of Shadows issue 2 will come out November 10th. Star Wars issue 19 will come out uh, November 24th. Dr. Aphra issue 16 will come out November 10th. Uh, Bounty Hunters issue 18 will come out November 24th. And Darth Vader issue 18 will come out November 17th. Which, uh, Darth Vader does have a, uh, new, more extended description for it just was like one sentence, but now there's more, seemingly because it's tying into the Crimson Rain kind of has some details there. But uh, the uh, bigger description said, Red Revenge. Lady Kira not only insulted the Empire, but challenged it too. In the end, Darth Vader showed her criminal organization the Empire is not to be toyed with. But now, fearful wi whispers echo in every corner of the Empire. Darth Vader is on the hunt. Searching for anyone with any connection to the criminal organization known as Crimson Dawn. How deep has Crimson Dawn inf infiltrated, and is it worth the wrath of Vader? So yeah, obviously just mentions Crimson Dawn a lot more than Kira and whatnot. So yeah. Uh, but anyways, um, also with uh, Marvel, they finally uh, officially confirmed that there will be a reprinting of a uh, Kieran Gillen's Darth Vader omnibus. And will release on um, April 13th, 2022. So collect the entirety of the uh, 2015 Darth Vader run by Kieran Gale. And I believe issues 1 through 25 also include in the annual, uh, the in the uh, Vader Down crossover issue um, issues. The uh, Vader Down one shot and then the issues from the uh, Star Wars series. So yeah, but um, anyways, there's also the IDW comics. Uh, which is uh, four this month. Uh, the Higher Billig Adventures of Year 10 were my, or, you know, well, written by Dan and Hazel, but it will come out November 3rd. Uh, the Higher Billig Adventures, uh, Monster of Tumble Peak, issue four, which will come out November 10th. Star Wars Adventures, issue 12, which will come out November 17th. And Star Wars Adventures Annual 2021, which will come out November 24th. Which, uh, those past three, I know, Kevin Scott will be writing for, so, <laughs> yeah. Doing a lot, and he has a life day one shot and whatnot, and all the higher public stuff he's doing and whatnot. But, um, anyways, you know, that's gonna be it for this one. Um, next week I'll be talking about something I don't know, but, um, yeah, um, anyways, you can uh check out my uh stuff I do. Obviously, the Bad Batch just recently ended. Check out all my uh reviews, I did reviews of each episode and the full season, which you can check out. But yeah, hoping to start getting back into uh, the gist of things. I've been kind of doing weekly stars recap and Bad Batch for a while. Uh, not a lot of videos, so I'm hoping to get back into that now. But um, yeah, anyways, uh, that's going to be for this one. I've been stars, you know, I'll catch you guys in the next one.
Show me the one whose safety deemed such destruction. You must reunite it with its own kind. Where? This you must determine. The songs of eons past.